My God, three videos in one day, three videos in one hour, pretty much. This is, this is big news after big news. Kevin Durant requests a trade from the Nets. Well, <laughs> um. I mean, you see it at the bottom here. Uh, hopefully, he leaves the Eastern Conference, you know, because my Hawks are the championship contenders now. So, it would, it'd be nice if he could leave the conference. But, wow. I I'm, I mean, this is crazy. You know, you thought you would think when Kyrie signed his, um, or he accepted his uh, player option or whatever and stayed with the Nets. You, you, you would, you would think that KD would stay with the Nets as well. But no, I, I, I mean, th this is, you know, I don't think this is a good move by KD. You got James Harden. You got Ben Simmons if he wants to play. It, it, you can win a championship without Ben Simmons. It doesn't matter, really. He, he's a he's a clown anyways for what he's doing. I mean, what, what, what? I'm, I, I don't, I'm upset with Ben Simmons. I don't, like, the dude's not playing. All right, different story. But um, but KD and Kyrie, they can, you know, they can win a championship by themselves. And if Ben Simmons wants to come back, then that certainly gives them a chance, a better chance. Uh, the Nets um, have their main issue is their, their bench right now. They don't really have a good bench. They don't really have good depth. They just kind of star-loaded like the Lakers. They have a better bench than the Lakers. That's why they've won more games than the Lakers. But they 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 don't have good chemistry. They're dysfunctionalized. They have a decent bench, but it's well. I take back what I said about their bench. Their bench is decent. They actually do have some decent players on their bench, but it ain't great. Uh, it's it's below average, probably. It's below. It's a below average bench, but it's not awful like the Lakers bench. Um, I I mean this is like wow. And James Harden's probably going to stay with the Sixers for anyone who's wondering. But should have never made that trade. They, James Harden should have stayed with the Nets. All right, point is, but th why would you – why in the world – why would you leave? Kyrie's staying. You have the possibility of Ben, ben Simmons. You know, you got a bunch of – a lot of young players around you, you know. Um, uh, you got, uh, you know, LaMarcus Aldridge might come back, uh, from retirement. You got Andre, not Andre Drummond, DeAndre Jordan, you know, uh, you got, you got Blake Griffin. I, I mean, you got a good team around you. You got a good team. You got a good starting five. Uh, and then a decent, uh, you, I, I'm not going to say, I'd say an average bench. You got an average bench to help you out. You got, you got an average bench with a really good starting five. That's what you got with the Nets. And you're KD. You're KD. You're one of the best players in the world. You're KD. You, you are the leader of that team. Now, in terms of Steve Nash, I got some questions. Um. Uh, even though I said your bench is average, uh, there's not a lot of average benches, though, that win championships. That's usually not the case. I know LeBron won some championships with some average benches, but, you know, that's, you know, that's LeBron. Uh, is KD as good as LeBron ever was? Um, yeah, See, you see my point? I'm not saying he can't be, but, you know, he hasn't proved it yet. I'll just say that. Um no, so I mean it's possible. Uh, I definitely do think with how good KD is and how good the Nets are and Kyrie, if they all play and their chemistry is good, even though I have some questions about Steve Nash as a head coach, I think they can definitely win a championship. In fact, they're probably one of the top contenders, especially after Kyrie stayed, especially if Ben Simmons. Wow, Iowa got a five star lineman over Bama, but but especially especially Ben Simmons. Uh, stay might play. 
Uh, you still got, you know, like I said, I, I say, I've said over and over again, an average bench. Um, but, I mean, you still got Blake Griffin and, you know, possibly LaMarcus Aldridge coming back from retirement, DeAndre Jordan. So, I mean, you got some, you got some decent players around you. You got some really good players around you. I don't know why you would request a trade. Uh, maybe KD does want a better bench, or maybe he just he, he maybe he doesn't like you know he feels like Steve Nash screwed him over a bit because uh, Steve Nash really did mess that up a little bit. Maybe uh, he thinks that uh, maybe he just doesn't like the chemistry of the Nets. Maybe you know, I mean you know KD to the Celtics that's possible. Uh, KD to the. I don't know. Celtics might get KD. I don't. I don't think the Sixers and Heat have enough money to do that. The Bucks are not getting KD. Celtics seem like a really good contender for KD. Celtics, Suns. Now, there's no certain that KD's leaving the Nets. Uh, we see players request trades all the time, and then they get sat down and. You know, they, they, they're they not able to leave, you know. And KD is not the type of person to sit out a bunch of games because he, he's not getting traded. So, I, I mean, you know, I mean, KD's got to KD's gotta prove, man. I, I mean, the dude's so talented. He might be the most talented player in the NBA, not the best, but he's the most talented player in the NBA. And he's out here. I, I mean, dude, you're KD. You got Kyrie. You got possibly Ben Simmons, DeAndre Jordan, possibly LaMarcus Aldridge, Blake Griffin, and good enough players in the bin. I mean, th this is nuts. I mean, stay with the Nets. Get. I mean, does he have issues with Steve Nash? Maybe. Steve Nash has worked with KD a long time, even when they're when he was on the Warriors. So I, I don't know if that's the issue. I, I, really, I mean, but teams he could go to, Celtics, Suns. He's not going back to the Warriors. Uh, what else? I think those are probably the two favorites to get KD. They have enough money to do it. And they're also, uh, you know. I bet pro it's possible that KD brings another sidekick like Kyrie with them, you know, to an art team. Oh, oh, the Blazers. That's a perfect team for KD. To work with Dame Dalla, that's, that's you know, that, that'd that be a good team for KD. Yeah, Celtics, Suns, Blazers, those seem like the three teams. I, I, I mean, but I don't like this, man. I Stay with the Nets. Give them a chance, you know. Relax. You've been there two years, and and now your team is loaded again. You had some of your issues last year. You almost won a championship the year before. Your chem you had chemistry issues last year. Seems like that's getting fixed a little bit. Give them a chance. Yeah, you got swept, but you got swept by a team that made the championship. Just just relax, man. But that's what I think. Here we go. This UCLA and USC that they've already recorded. I've, I I made a different video on that. You'll, it'll probably upload before this video. But, yeah, that's what I think about this, man. I I don't think the Hawks are getting KD. Suns, Celtics, Blazers, that's, that's, you know, he might go to another team, but I think those are the three teams that KD I'm going to go to. <sighs> I mean, prove yourself, bro. Stop switching teams. I'm, I, I'm certainly glad he's leaving the Eastern Conference. That will make the Nets much less of a problem for the Hawks in the Eastern Conference. The only huge problem, well, there's a couple huge problems. I mean, the Sixers are still good. The Celtics are great. The Bucks are great. The Heats are aging. But they're still good. <laughs> well, no, Jimmy Butler's aging. The Heat are young. What am I talking about? <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was dumb of me to say that. Um, I, So... I mean, if KD were to leave, that'd certainly be a less of a worry for the Hawks. Because the Hawks could probably, you know, be on the same level as the 
is the Heat and Sixers. They're definitely on the Heat and Sixers level, I think, with their team right now. The Bucks and Celtics might be a little bit of ahead of them, but we could possibly beat them, maybe uh, upset them in a playoff series and possibly get to the finals and upset a team in the finals. That's possible. Um, the Nets, if we get if we can get KD out the Eastern Conference, that would be huge. Now, if KD joins the Celtics, you know, we might have to... You know, our championship hopes might have to wait a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm just kidding, man. Uh, but I mean, it's possible that the Celtics team could have better. No, no, Celtics have great chemistry right now. KD, if I mean, if KD can come in and build great chemistry with them, oh, that's the best team in the NBA right there. Uh, but I mean, that's what the Celtics are missing. The Celtics are missing a superstar player. That's what they've been missing. Jason Tatum is a star player. He's not a superstar. Uh I said that they could develop Jason Tatum to a superstar possibly and they could be they could win an NBA championship. They could do it right now, but you know, it gives them a much better shot if Jason Tatum develops to a superstar. Well, if you get KD, that, you know, that's definitely, you know, I'd go to the Celtics if I was KD. I'd really stay with the Nets and give them a chance, but if I but obviously he's requesting a trade, so I guess go to the Celtics. But the Blazers and Suns are definitely good opportunities. Uh, Suns have really good, a uh, really good coach. Uh, the Blazers have Chauncey Billups as a coach, a former NBA player, just like he just had. Maybe he doesn't like that. Maybe he does. So I, uh, I mean, we'll see, man. I mean, maybe the Hawks could compete with the Celtics. I don't know. That would be hard. I'll tell you one thing: if Katie goes to the Celtics, that's my championship pick. Right now, I'm actually leaning towards the Warriors going back to back. It's a, you know, you know, in in football, it's hard to go back to back. In basketball, it's a little bit easier. So you know, now I don't think they'll three peat, but I definitely think they can go back to back. But Celtic, if Katie joins the Celtics, oh my god! All right, but you know, I mean, but I'm also leaning towards picking the Nets. But now this has happened, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I'd certainly love for KD to be out of our conference. I'll say that. Giannis, too. That's not happening, though. Giannis is loyal. So, certainly be glad if the Sixers could take a fall, too. That's one less team to worry about. But James Harden, we found out today, is declining his player option only to to take less money and help build the rest of the team. So, he's sacrificing money to build, make his team better. Oh, that's a worry. <laughs> That's not good, is it? No, it's not. So you got to worry about all this now when you're a championship contender. Don't you? Yeah, you do. We know what the Bucks are. We know what the Celtics are. But, you know. I mean, the, the Sixers get a third player, too. Oh, that's going to be crazy. East is about to be stacked. You know, remember how the West was so much better than the East? It's looking, it's looking like the East is, might be coming better than the West. Yeah, I said that. Uh, the West for years and years, really the past 20 years, ever since MJ left uh, the Bulls, the West has dominated and been much better than the East. Well, we might be going back to the 90s in terms of that, <laughs> in the 80s. With the East, you know, well, not the 80s. The 80s was balanced. We might be going towards back the 90s and the 60s, <laughs> you know. Or we might be going back to the 70s and 80s where it was kind of 50-50. Yeah, I, I've said that the East might become better than the West, especially if KD joins Celtics. Even if he doesn't, I mean, it, it, it's looking like that. But the Warriors did win the NBA Finals. I, it's probably going to be 50-50. It might, but the Suns are aging. Chris Paul is aging. So, if KD would join the Suns. I, I don't know. We'll see what conference becomes better. I honestly think that the East probably coming a little bit better than the West, but the West will definitely be close, you know. You know it, it won't be like the 90s, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Other than that, and this is worth a max contract right here. Yeah, talk about that later. I don't think that's worth a max contract. Other than that, though, I'll see y'all later, man. I just got to get my thoughts about this. Certainly, I'd love to have KD, but I know we're not doing that.
Yes, you put it at the bottom of the screen. Millions of times. Jeez. All right. Peace and go Hawks. See y'all later, man. Woo! Go Hawks.